Hey guys, uh, Colt again. Okay, here is the second part of the video. If you uh, look over here, what we've got here, we've got some tools that I'm fixing to show you how to use. First off, we have sandpaper. Everybody knows what that is. This is called a pounce wheel. This is a small tool that's used in the sign industry, and uh, it has a little sprocket and it has a little teeth on it, okay? I'll show you what this is for in just a minute. This is called a pounce pad. It is a uh, powder. Is a little pad that has chalk in it. You can get black chalk or white chalk. You can get these two items at any art supply store. Uh, this is a piece of lead. Any art supply store costs you a dollar. Uh, this is the pattern that we're fixing to make here. Uh, what we've done here, if we come over here to our uh, tank, I've gone through the same process of drawing out my, with chalk, drew it with chalk, wiped it down with my tack cloth, okay? Uh, I've laid out my blue line flames how I want it. This is a stand that I, that I had built. It's on an engine stand, and I have this where I can take this pin out, and I can tilt this, and I can work, I can airbrush, and I can do things. It makes life, life easy, uh, and it'll hold any type of tank, because I, I build different little wood things that, that hold different tanks. All right, we're going to take a piece of tape, this uh, piece of paper. This can be any kind of paper. I don't care. Uh, it can be a garbage bag, uh, paper sack. We're going to take this and we're going to put this over our blue line work right here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my take my piece of lead and I'm going to rub this. Uh, we can all remember uh, as a child we used to rub uh, and get the image of, of, of a penny uh, by rubbing a piece of Crayola or whatever. Now, here's a key factor in this. We want these flames to be identical left and right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a, a mark here as a, as, as a, as a uh, landmark. And then I'm going to make this up here and also the gas cap opening, okay? These are, these are my landmarks. Now, we've gone down to the side here, and what we're going to do is you, you're just going to peel, bend this over the best way you can and, 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 and get your image drawn on. All right, once we have the image drawn on, what I'm going to do here is, uh, this is the image that I drew uh, based off the same equation. I take my pounce wheel and I'm going to uh, poke holes in this whole design. Okay, now I'm going to do the whole design here and we're going to do everything. I'm not going to do the whole thing for time-wise sake here. So, what we've done here is we've poked holes in this. Now I'm going to come over here to the gas tank and I'm going to locate my opening here on this side and I'm going to locate this same location here and I'm going to get my little location right here and my little crease for my uh, gas tank opening uh, or the, on a whatever that's called. Oh, look for some tape. Uh, I was more organized than that. All right. Go back and we're going to put it back on. Line up our areas. Tape down. This is just regular tape that you get for your house painting. Mark our little area. Now at this point, I may come in and I may check it with a tape measure and, and make sure my measurements are correct. Now, you can do this two different ways. You can, one, you can take your pounce pad, but you have to remember that you've just pounced these and that these are like little dimples. So when you're pounding on these and putting the dust through here, you're actually poking these down. Depends on the type of surface that you have. Since I'm working with a, white, a black tank, I can actually take my sandpaper and I can sand these little dimples off of the paper on my tank, on my hood, on my door, on my helmet, whatever it might be. I'm just taping these, uh, sanding these little dimples off. When I do that, the dust from that goes through 
and you can see the little polka dot design that's been created from that dust image. Now what we're going to do, this is dusty, so uh, a lot of times you can take and blow this dust off or take your chalk and now redraw your image and then come back with your tack cloth and wipe it down and then do your blue line work. Just another little hint in how we get our flames laid out. I'm going to take this off. I'll be back with you with another video.